Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minituff, and today I'm going to show you how to actually edit to the Minecraft folder because on Lion it changed and you can't just open it with Archive Utility and it will create a package. It's really confusing, but I figured a way around this. Sadly, you are going to have to download something. I know. Ugh. But if you are on Snow Leopard, this is different. You don't even need to do this. Just open it, right click, open it with Archive Utility, and you got it. But if you're on Lion, I'm assuming you have the App Store, and it's really easy to do. So, All right, so right now I am in my web browser, and I have a link in the description. So just go ahead and click the link. But bam, the App Store will pop up, and it should take you right to the Unarchiver. So right now we're just going to go ahead and download it. It's really easy to install, so just click free, install, and you're going to have to enter your password. Super secret, yeah, yeah. Okay, enter in your password. It's going to do some great installing powers. and Okay, so now we have the unarchiver installed. Wow, that is kind of hard to say. The, unar the unarchiver, the unarchiver. So right now we're going to head to our Minecraft folder. And if you notice, there is a library button right here. If you want to see my tutorial on getting this here, watch it. Annotation right on the screen. Click that. I will have a link in the description if you're on a mobile device too. So let's go there. Application support, Minecraft. Now I do have McPatcher installed so I can install texture packs, but this won't impact it. So let's go into our bin folder. And we got to find Minecraft.jar. That is right here in red. Now it's in red. So we're going to go ahead and open with the unarchiver. So right click, open with the unarchiver. It's going to do its thing. Extract. So now we have a Minecraft folder. That's the same thing what it looks like in Snow Leopard. So go ahead and delete minecraft.jar and I'm just moving this back and press enter. Click on it and press enter and then add dot jar to the end. This will give it the same properties as it had before but now it's an editable folder. So now you can go in here, add all your mods, do all your cheating stuff, you cheater. Don't even cheat. Dirty cheater! So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like my stuff, go ahead and stay tuned because there's a link to more videos at the end. So, thanks, and I will see you guys there. Peace.